everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with an amazing, partially amazing video for you. Yes, it is going to be okay, okay, okay. All right, so this week we are getting three sets of inserts, all right? So essentially we are getting a Smart Source, a Red Plum, and a PNG. Normally I would be so happy about this, but I'm just going to tell you, these are some of the most tacky coupons that we have been getting in like a long time. I'm not very excited about the coupons. I am very blessed that I'm getting these newspapers donated to me. However, if I had to purchase these coupons, I would probably not be buying full newspapers this week. However, there are some good coupons and I want to share them with you so you can maybe align yourself uh, with having or knowing what to be on the lookout for. If you go to the grocery store or wherever you're going, you see them coupons and you don't see the ones that you're looking for to know to put it on hold and get them through other means. The place I will be using this week is going to be capriscoupons.com. She is the only person I use when I get clipped coupons. Essentially what her site is, if you've never seen these videos before, is that you pay this company, capriscoupons.com, to obtain, organize, uh, sort, cut, clip, ship, all that stuff. You are paying the company to do that. In turn, you select the coupons that you're wanting and you will receive those coupons. So you're paying for the service, receiving the product, which is the coupon. So that's typically what I say to do if you're in a region where you're not getting the coupons that you want. As with me, I've already purchased some coupons today and I know that the coupons I want are not there. So I will be reaching out to Capri's today or tomorrow. Sometime this week, it will happen. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Um, I've had some people ask me, how are you getting newspapers? It's not Sunday. Okay, um, yes, there are some newspapers, as you can probably see here, it says Saturday slash Sunday. So this is the only one that I know of in Maine that has it like that. So they have coupons in these. So if you're in your grocery store or anywhere you're at and you see one that says Saturday slash Sunday, feel free to just pop it open and see if you got some coupons in there. And then you can go ahead and get your paper early so you can do your shopping trips on Saturday versus Sunday like with CVS. So it's a great thing to do. Um, also, there are times where deals are ending on a Saturday, like at Rite Aid or Walgreens or wherever you're shopping, Walgreens or anywhere, wherever you're shopping, the deals may be ending that day, Saturday, and you need these coupons, but now since you've got them early, you can go ahead and do your shopping trip. So there are some benefits to getting coupons early on Saturday. All right, so I went through mine, and I'm definitely noticing some differences. So this is what I'm wanting you to do. I'm wanting you to take from this video that there are coupons that you should be receiving. Before you pay at checkout, I want you to pop open that newspaper. I want you to have a list of whatever it is that you're looking for. And I want you to go through it. Mm -mm, don't have this. Don't have this. Guess what? I'm not investing my $2 or $4 or a dollar into this paper if it doesn't have the coupons I need, okay? Many times online at Capri's, I can go and I can get a set of 10 clipped coupons for $1.80. That includes everything. I don't have to pay any extra shipping. It is what it is. So $1.80 versus $10 in dollar papers to get the coupons that you want. To me, it's typically more beneficial to do it that way if I'm seeking an individual coupon. And this happens with regions at times. You may just be missing one coupon or two coupons that you need. So it may benefit you to obtain them in that manner. Wanted to put that out there because there's a lot of new people who maybe do not know how to look for coupons, okay? It is not just going and buying the paper, <laughs> okay, guys? You need to make sure that you are getting what you need or you're going to be very disappointed when you spend all this money on papers and you get home and you ain't got the coupons. In addition to that, if you know that your paper has the coupons you want, say that you went through the first one, before you go to checkout, look in every single paper you're getting to make sure you have every insert you need. Count every insert because at times people steal inserts or the newspaper company can make a you know mistake and not include you know, one of the um, inserts in a whole batch of papers. So you have to make sure that you're getting all the inserts you need and the coupons that you need for that shopping trip prior to spending your money, honey, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, I was just going to go into the coupons, but I know I have some new people on here and I want to help y'all too, so that's that. 
All right, so what am I excited about? Nothing. No, there's a few things I'm excited about. So one of the first things that I'm excited about in the Procter & Gamble, um, and then we're getting three of these this time, the P&G, Smart Source, Red Plum, I've already said that probably, but whatever. Okay, so the one thing I am excited about P&G, there's probably two that I'm really excited about, if I even have those coupons, because this is so lame. Yes, I do. Okay, so on this paper right here, um, you can probably not see, maybe you can see, the Always, the Tampax, and then we've got the Venus Razors right here. So what we're looking at with these right here and how we would use them um, is a little bit, I guess, I guess there is a little bit of hope there. The pads and tampons, what they are is $3 off of two. Whenever you're seeing that you're going to get $1.50 off of one individually, because ultimately that's what it is, that's a pretty good coupon. Have we had, had better coupons? Absolutely. Here recently we had a $3 off of one um, always product. That was an amazing coupon. Is $1.50 off a pretty good coupon? It's a pretty good coupon. We can pr probably find a way to work it out. Typically, the way that I find these to work is when I get them at Target. Sometimes you will have at Target, you buy three participating products, always. So what you would do is you buy three, get $5. Since this is a $2 coupon, I mean a, two, a $3 coupon off of two, you would buy six, use three coupons, you would get two of the $5 rewards. And if we have a health and beauty type um, category coupon for Target, we would add that on top. So you're either getting into a freebie, potential money maker. It depends on what you're using to get to that $20 amount there. But that's how I use those and that's how I get all of my pads um, for free. So you can do it guys. Don't stress about it. The same thing goes with the tan packs. You can do that as well. Honestly, um, whenever I am getting like, what are those things called? Tampons or whatever. Whenever I'm getting those, I typically get them through Playtex and I get these for free all the time at Target. So that's the way I do that. But you can do it um, with the tan packs as well to get those for free. So don't stress about it. It's a pretty good coupon. I'm excited about that one. Now, another one is going to be the Gillette, Gillette, Gillette Razor or the Venus Razor. The requirements of this is that it's two count or higher. As long as it's disposable, Gillette or Venus, you're going to be able to use this coupon. So that is a great coupon at a $3 off. We can find these deals um, with CVS to get these razors for free. So that is a place where I typically find those. We can also find them at Rite Aid from time to time to to get them for free as well. So I am excited about those particular coupons. Something I didn't get in mine right here, just to let you know, was the loves. I did not get any diapers. I don't have any babies. However, whenever I can get diapers for free, I get them and I donate them. I would recommend that you do the same if you can. Okay, guys. So the diapers are, um, there's two. The Pampers are not good coupons at all. It's $1.50 off of two or $3 off of two bags of Easy Ups training um, type of products. Now, the one that is pretty good is the Loves. It's $2 off of one, so I think that's a pretty good coupon there. We don't see as many deals as we do with Huggies at CVS. However, we can always get Loves for free if we put a lot of work to it, guys, okay? If I can get some free diaper deals, I will bring them to you. I did a video a little while back on how to get diapers for free. I will link it below for you. However, you have to really strategically shop to get diapers for free. For me, if you're getting them less than $2.50 a pack of diapers, which I don't even know where any diapers are. Let me see here. I know I got some diapers. Ugh. If you're getting something like this less than $2.50, I definitely say that that is a time to buy for diapers for me. Okay, guys? I get them for free, but if you're in need, do not wait to get them for free, <laughs> okay? Get them when you can get them cheap and when it's going to be at a time of need for you guys, okay? Um, we do want to stockpile. When you're stockpiling diapers, if you can get them for free, I just want you to know that you want to buy a size that's a little bit larger to keep you with, you know, some room for growth. However, we can always exchange these diapers. So say that you ended up getting these at CVS, you need to go and exchange them at a later time. They're not going to have a problem with you coming back and say, hey, can I just exchange for a different size or Walmart or anywhere that you can do an even exchange for diapers. So if you get into stockpiling diapers and you have found out that your baby has outgrown the diapers because you have too many, 
just understand that you do have a little bit of leeway and leniency with changing out diapers as long as they haven't been open. Okay, guys, wanted to put that out there. If you get them for free or good price, please stock up so you don't have to pay $11.99 a pack, okay? All right, so the next coupon set that I'm looking at here, and that's all I was excited about with PNG. It's very skimpy. It's like four pages. really stinks. Okay, so the smart source here, there's a lot going on in here. Not a lot, but there's some going on in here. And I'm not too excited about much of anything, to be honest with you. Um, the checks coupon that I have here is going to be $1 off of any two. It says that other regions are getting a 50 cent off of one. So that will be a better deal if your grocery store doubles because then you're going to have a dollar off of one check cereal. So that's something that I would definitely be on the lookout for. When you can get dollar off coupons or above a dollar off coupons for cereal, I think that's a great thing to have because a lot of grocery stores do end up having some type of um, cycle-based deductions or sales on cereal. So whenever you see a dollar or above in cereal coupons for one product, good coupon if you have that one. The Clearasil, there is a pretty interesting coupon out right now. Um, I was excited at first because I saw that there's a rebate that comes with it. There's a um, up to $9.99 rebate, as you see, up to $9.99. Um, so it's not a $9.99 rebate. It's up to the price of the product. Um, I have not done this rebate before, so I don't know how this is going to work as far as if they're only going to give you the price after coupons because I've had some rebates that have done that, which is really crazy. Um, but I get it. So in addition to that, we also have a $2 off coupon here. So what you have is a $2 off of a clear seal product, plus you have a mail-in rebate. So this is an opportunity for you to get a freebie, especially if you're using this product. So I think that's a great coupon, guys. This would require some out-of-pocket, though. I don't know about any deals, current deals that are on that. If I do find some, I will definitely bring it available to you. I'll bring it to you however just remember just because there is not a deal right now this week we will find deals they come in cycles and this is why it's great to have these coupons on hand if we can get the product for free okay the next one that I'm kind of excited about I know my big old butt is excited about this one I am not even gonna lie to y'all right now okay so this Jolly Time popcorn here now I love the Jolly Time popcorn and I love the movie theater one. It is so good. But that's not another thing. It is $2 off of one. So, or excuse me, two boxes. $1 off of two boxes. So we just had a sale here at my grocery store. They were five for five, so a dollar each. So that's a pretty good deal, you know, because you get four, you get two bucks off. So pretty good deal, right? 50 cents a box. Really excited about that. Now the good thing is with this type of popcorn though is that you always, not always, but typically you can find the red box code. So not only are you getting popcorn for 50 cents, but you are also getting a movie for free. So that is a great deal. Popcorn and a movie for 50 cents. Can you really beat it? Yeah, you can beat it with free. But I'm saying that it is Mary approved. It's a good deal. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I'm excited about that one right there. Um, the noodles. Okay, so these types of noodles here, we are getting more coupons for these. This is a staple for me for donation purposes, okay? When these things come out, I'm already going to let you know I'm going to order 100 clipped coupons on these. And the reason that I like these is because they have a pretty long out expiration date and they're very easy to donate. So at my grocery store, they end up doing these buy one, get one free. Um, I think it's this exact one. If not, I don't, I think it is this exact one. If not, I know what the right one is, guys. Okay, I don't whatever but i'm pretty sure it's this one right here so what they'll do is they'll have two uh, buy one get one free we have a dollar off of two coupon so that makes both of them absolutely free so what i do is i get you know 100 coupons and then i get all those products and then i just go and drop them off so very good thing to donate even if you don't like these products um somebody in need will like them okay so that's the one dollar off of two and that is the actual bowls, okay, the bowls. Now, they do have $1 off of three for the packs of noodles, so they're really good noodles too, guys. I really like those, but it's a dollar off of three. So what happens at my store is I think as you buy two, you get one free. So you can still work it out to make it an amazing deal. I don't know how your stores work. I know at Kroger, I used to always find them buy one, get one free for the bowl so this could be a great way for you to work out to get some free food for your family and also if you don't like it don't be a snob 
give it to somebody, okay? Because somebody <laughs> needs some food and is hungry while you're sitting here watching this video. And it may be you. So let's just keep ourselves humble and understand that we can definitely affect those um, others with coupons. All right, guys? So the next one that I want to bring up is the Lunchables. My kids love these. Um, especially going back to school right now. Actually, I think I'm going to be homeschooling my daughter this year, which is pretty cool. If you homeschool, let me know your story below, because um, this is going to be absolutely new for me. Um, anyway, so they have this Lunchables one right here. It's off of any two packs. Have y'all tried these walking tacos? They're really, really good. Um, but anyway, so it's a dollar off of any two, and they have to have the drink, or they have to be these right here. So my grocery store has these a lot buy one get one free so once again it's not free because the products pretty expensive however if it's a dollar 99 I'm getting two you know for a 99 cents pretty good deal for me may not be the best but I do think that when you have a brand preference or if you really like something um, that that would probably work I haven't brushed my hair today guys I'm sorry I'm like sitting here like moving it excuse me I know that's distracting um, but anyway so I think that's a great deal in addition to that the ones with the drinks they have those on sale pretty frequently if you find them cheap you can take the price and um, the ad take it to Walmart get them to match it then you can use a dollar off of two coupon because we don't really have to worry about um, doubling at Walmart because Walmart doesn't double so that's an okay coupon this may be a good product for you if you have a brand preference it's a dollar off it's pretty high priced however some of these stores do have specials on these so that's a good deal if you're into it um, I like coupons for juice when it's a higher value dollar or above coupon the last coupon that I will mention in this one that I actually have is a two dollar off of one many times we get offers on at Rite Aid which are going to be uh, load to card offer so you go on plenty.com you can go into these specific areas like household or partner offers you can go there search to see if you have any Mitchum offers if so you can load that to your card you probably get like a two dollar offer plus a two dollar coupon so then you're looking at about 99 cents unless they have an in-store special many times we have in the Rite Aid ads to where they have the coupon for an in-store coupon so there you go you get a two dollar off coupon in store or a two dollar off you know, um, paper coupon, a $2 off rebate. So it's like, what in the world? So you can find Mitchum for free. You just got to be on the lookout for those deals. Okay, guys. So that's a good coupon. Something I didn't get, which I was really um, upset about was the Uniball. Um, it is a dollar off of one, but it has to be two count or higher. That's probably going to be a good coupon. As we can see with price matching, I would be looking out for Office Depot, Staples, and Walgreens. And then we can try to price match with Walmart as long as we have those products available in their ads. So that's a pretty good coupon. The Tyson $1 off of one fun nuggets. This may be a good coupon. The reason that I say this is because in this particular coupon, we get this product a lot popping up in our Ibotta. So if you get a dollar back on Ibotta, plus you get a dollar here, plus you get an in-store special BOGO, you can really have a pretty good deal to pick up two bags of these chicken nuggets for the kiddos. So I think that's one that's absolutely worth mentioning. Um, the last coupon packet that I'm going to mention, coupon packet, what is that? Um, anyways, is going to be the Red Plum. Not happy with this one, but it is what it is, and we're going to make it work. Okay, they have the Barilla products, um, which is the pasta, and it's the blue box of pasta, you know, the one that tastes real good. Mm-hmm. It is, mine is a dollar off of three, okay? So this one right here, for me, that's a pretty bad coupon. Now, others will have 55 cents off of two. So that may be a better coupon for you if you have 55 cents off of two because that's a dollar ten if it doubles. So then if you get these like a dollar and 25 cents each, then you get the dollar ten off when you buy two. It's not a terrible deal. I always get pasta for free, however, if you're new to couponing and you're wanting to start a stock on this, I would say if you can get it 50 cents or less, you can go ahead and get, I don't know, maybe five boxes, however many you're going to need to have enough until you can get it for free, guys, okay? Um, now this one right here, a dollar off of two, we do see this in our Ibotta, so I would think that would be a good way to do that. If not, that's pretty expensive, you know, but... 
hey, if you have a brand preference, that may work out for you. Um, now, something else that I would like to mention is going to be the eye care products, the Blink. I always get excited when I get the Blink products um, simply for the fact that they are high value coupons, um, $3, $4 coupons. And many of these Blink products I find all day, every day at Rite Aid, 75% off, which makes them absolutely free, guys. If not free, you're looking at $1.25 and less for like a $16, $17 product. So very good deal. Keep these clipped with you at all times if you're going to be Rite Aid clearance shopping, okay? Keep them with you <laughs> to save you some money and get you some free eye care products because if I don't have that, my butt is blind and... Yep. So anyways, the next, well, I guess the eye care products don't keep me from being blind. My glasses do, but they keep my eyes clean, which is nice. Okay. So the next thing I would like to say is the McCormick Grill Mates. Um, this is a expensive product. Okay. However, if you have a store that doubles up to a dollar, like my store doubles up to a dollar 99 cents, um, then I can use this. And I probably will be able to utilize this coupon dependent upon in-store sales and promotions. So this one right here is 75 cents off. So for me, this is going to be a dollar and 50 cents off. A lot of times we do have in-store promotions with newer types of products. So that is a great thing to look out for. Also, I have seen Ibotta on this. So that is how we're going to couple different deals, stack promotions to be able to save the most and bring the food into the household because that is what we all need to do. Right, guys? Okay, um, the Pantene is terrible. One off of two. Um, I guess the last thing I'm going to mention is the Cover Girl. There are two different Cover Girls that are coming, guys. One, I think, is a pretty good coupon the other I don't really care much for just because it's expensive is right here the one dollar off of any one eye product we have the two dollar off of any one true blend which you can fight on clearance which is pretty good but I always like the one off of one because I find these types of products on clearance all the time and I can typically with overages end up getting these for free as well so that is a pretty good coupon to have there it's not the best but it's something Something else I would like to let you know is this coupon right here. We just got a sort of similar coupon last week with the um, bruise cream and the burn cream. Um, this one right here, I have these. I keep these because my daughter plays sports and multiple sports all, all year. And um, I like to keep those types of natural products um, you know, there for the boys. She plays with boys typically. But anyways, I like to keep all the products there for the kids just in the event that something does happen on the court, field, whatever. So that way they can have some medication to try to help them, which is natural, and we're not having to worry about any adverse, um, adverse reactions. Make sure if you do get these types of things to donate to athletic departments or if you're having them for the team, check with parents before you put anything on anybody's kid. <laughs> okay better yet don't put anything on anybody's kid give it to their parents but have it available to help the kids out i always keep like a medical kit whenever we're at our sporting events for all the kids not just mine okay guys so i really hope you enjoyed this video uh, not the best coupons how many would i say that you need to purchase i would say that i would only buy if you i would not spend more than four dollars on coupons this week um, for total inserts. So if you're at the Dollar Tree and you can get four, that's great. I don't know how that works out. I've never picked up coupons at the Dollar Tree. Don't spend more than four. If that means that you're just going to buy two papers, just buy two papers. With what I've got right now, I would not be paying for more than that. The only thing I can tell you what I am going to do is I'm going to order the um, popcorn coupons. I'm probably going to order 40 of those. And I am also going to order these right here. And I'm probably going to get about 100 of these online clipped. That is probably the only thing I'm going to get because everything else I'm probably going to end up having to pay money for. And I'm not in the business of paying money for anything. Okay, guys, these right here, people need them. And just another tip right here. These right here, I got the shrimp ones. Um, no, it wasn't the shrimp. I got these spicy ones. And they were way too spicy. So if you're getting these to donate to people, I like some spicy food, okay? My big butt loves some spicy food. But if you're donating to the shelter or any type of organization that needs help, um, the young lady was telling me about the Ronald McDonald House. You know, if you're donating to anybody like that, try to refrain from getting spicy products, okay, guys? So... 
Um, I made that mistake, but you know, the manager didn't have enough of the products even with my pre-order, so I had to get spicy products. So we got stuck with those and they were, we ate them because I don't let food go to waste in my house. If you've been without food before, you know not to let it go to waste. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. My recommendation, no more than $4. If you're wanting to buy clipped coupons, I would definitely recommend doing that to fit your needs. However, the inserts as a whole, they're just not worth it. Not in my opinion as a free extreme couponer. I hope you have a great one. See you soon. Bye, guys.